Disclaimer. This video has many facts presented with evidence that supports IIT MTech. In the M-Tech, uh, so we have 17 students in IIT Delhi. First time, three students didn't get placed. Hey, Swagat, current IIT Delhi M-Tech computer science student. But before revealing the truth about IIT M-Tech placements in 2025, let's start with the reality of IIT M-Tech fees in 2025. You have to be very honest here. Are you happy with the fees? Uh, no. Actually, Why? initially I thought it will be some around 30k or something. <laughs> Which year, bro? <laughs> so fees has increased almost 50%. So yeah. Stipend should increase. So how are you managing the fees? Currently, I, I am trying to take loan from. <laughs> if you look at official MTech fee structure at IITs, in Madras, the total fees for two years, including all four semester fees, hostel fees, and everything is 3.35 lakhs. And total stipend for two years, that is 12.4k multiplied by 24, is 2.97 lakhs. And things get very challenging in Delhi, where they don't provide hostels to first year MTech students. So, first year students had to stay outside, and outside, a decent non AC hostel on sharing basis, including food, will come close to 14,400 rupees per month. Accounting that and calculating the total cost for two years at Delhi is 4.15 lakhs. So is it a bad idea to plan our finances of IIT MTech before joining IITs? Also fees has to be paid at the start of each semester but stipend you will get each month and starting from first month. Now while researching this video I have also interviewed current unplaced IIT MTech students. In later parts we will find out three things they wish they knew before joining IIT. But before that few days back I got a call from one of current MTech final year IIT student. He told he had an idea for a startup and wants to know about how to pitch the idea at IITM incubation cell. And I have shared whatever I knew and redirected him to people who are a part of incubation cell at IIT Madras. At the end of the call, I asked him what happened with your placement. He told me, still now I haven't got placed, so I'm looking for more career opportunities. And I listened furthermore to understand why he didn't got placed and understood that if an MTech student thinks cracking gate is the hardest part, then IIT MTech is not for him. Let me show you why. Today is actually a holiday and it's uh, everyone is partying, sporting, you are actually studying. What's your motivation? What could be uh, What could be the mo motivation? Obviously, I have three exams in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at IIT MTech curriculum, I'm talking about the two-year MTech. A student has to complete around 10 courses in first year plus lab. Adding on top of hecticness, inside courses, we have to compete with other gate rangers and IITJ rangers. Yes, some courses are open to all students. Let's take you versus your beta classmate. By the end of a semester, in a subject, you scored 90 out of 100, which is a weighted score of all of this. And your classmates scored 90 plus, then your grade will be D only. Because IITs have relative grading system. And this leads to... Uh, so we have 17 students in IIT Delhi. First time... Three students didn't get placed. Three students wouldn't get placed. They have CGPA less than 7. This was not the scenario in previous year placed. No matter what was the CGPA, computer science students do get placed. Yes, Swagat, current IIT Delhi MTech computer science student. Let me tell you a fun fact. Last year, when I made a honest review of my MTech at IIT Madras, he just wrote this big comment starting with disclaimer. This comment has opposing views to the above presented content. Wrote professionally to disagree with my point. To this date, that was the biggest feedback I received on my channel. Before making this video, one day on Feb, I called him to find out what's going on in his life and how we became friends that we have already discussed in our previous videos. I talked with him and understood he was not deeply satisfied with his MTech. So we connected through a Zoom call. After the Zoom call, I talked with many current IIT students, IIT alumni and understood many of the things if a student got aware of before joining MTech, then definitely he or she can make their MTech a best one for them. And that's why I made this video. Consider this points in video as an advice from your IIT seniors. Now, after after presenting all the evidences, if you still want to do IIT MT and willing to prepare for GATE exam and looking for a quality coaching at an affordable cost, I would recommend GATE Ball as it is one of the most loved among students and in this year GATE, one of their all India rank 1 achieved AR1 in his third year of college. And as of now, there is a limited time, huge discount on GATE 2026 and 27 batches. Batches are available in Hindi and English. Do check it out. And additionally, you can use code RAGU500 for 500 rupees off. Batch details. Vijay GATE 2026 rank improvement batch B, 5500 rupees. Parakram Gate 2026 batch English, Production and Industrial Engineering, 6200 rupees.
rupees. Parakram 2.0 gate 2026 batch B English or English 6200 rupees. Parakram 2.0 gate 2026 batch B English CS and DA 9999. Stracer 2.0 gate 2027 batch English 8400. Parakram 2.0 2026 ESC plus gate plus PSU 10999. Stracer 2.0 ESC plus gate 2027 14999. Parakram 2.0 gate 2026 plus PSUs plus price operation CS and IT 10999. Stracer 2.0 gate 2027 plus PSUs plus price operation CS and IT 4999. Stracer gate 2027 batch B chemical 13499. Now also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from PW offering gate kasana PYQ books and more. Use code RAGU500 and enroll now. Now let's expose an uncomfortable truth about IIT MTech. Did MTech students have inferior complex over BTech students or not? Yes current mtech placement coordinator at iit bombay told me let me tell you a real incident one of my friend she did btech from aerospace engineering at iit madras as far as i have observed she is very ambitious apart from excelling in acad she was a team head of one of the big tech projects at iit captain of one of the sports team involved in many club activities and most of her btech she did things that i felt like oh my god that's how an ideal iit lives very driven another one of my friend pranjal he did mtech research in engineering design department at IIT Madras. Pranjal is also very focused in his studies. Participated in one extracurricular activity. Sports, not for any resume point of view. But did you know in 2023 placements, my BTEC friend got 16 LPA package and Pranjal got 20 LPA package from Arashi. What I understood is I'm equally valid, right? I don't consider myself inferior to anyone, I don't consider myself superior to anyone. Now to this day, she's very kind and a good friend to me. But you tell me, is it worth focusing on what we truly want rather than getting influenced by others? But let me reveal one secret. By the time I'm shooting this video, the number of M-Tech unplaced students is higher compared to B-Tech unplaced students. And disclaimer, this has nothing to do with M-Tech students' potential. This is one example. Let's reveal the reality. My friend from IIT Bombay placement cell also has the responsibility to verify the resumes submitted by B-Tech and M-Tech students in the placement portal. Now, why he has to do that? Because when a student submits their resume for placements, IITs had to verify its authenticity before submitting the student's resume to the company. And he found out most M-Tech students' resume are not good as B-Tech students' resume. Despite the reality that some MNCs, including Google and Honda, offers higher package to M-Tech students over B-Tech students at IITs. Let me share you three harsh things that M-Tech students wish they knew sooner. Number one, work experience. This is Praveen, IIT Madras M-Tech research scholar from one of the interdisciplinary department at IIT Madras, which requires one of the least gate cutoff to get in. But in 2023, he got selected among the very few students in Mercedes-Benz, currently in Mercedes-Benz, Bangalore. And I asked him, what made you get selected over other core department students he told work experience after his BTEC he worked as design engineer in one company that made him stand up when I hear this information in call total blank I had no more questions for him because a student can go for a job after joining IIT to get placed in IIT isn't it no in 2025 IIT Bombay placement there is a situation for MISO recruiters some students who had cleared their written exams hadn't been shown up for the interview now imagine you got MTech at IIT Bombay and after completion of your first year you register for for placements in placement portal. Based on the skills you developed, you applied for every companies where you can provide value. Then you gave written test exam for all the companies that you have applied. Now you are a hardworking student. So you are able to crack six written exams and one of it is MISO. Now in placements, every company will be allotted a slot starting from morning to evening. Let's say I had a company and I got the first slot. Now you are lucky as well. You cleared our company's written test and got selected in our company in phase one, first slot. <laughs> Now, according to placement rules, if you get selected in one company, you are not allowed to sit for any companies. Now, who will attend your MISO interview? That's when companies will open walk-ins where the students who hadn't yet placed can submit their resume. And based on only your resume, you will get shortlisted for the interview. One thing again and again I'm hearing from students on what makes a student stand out in walk-ins is internships. So is it a bad idea to utilize your first some break for work experience? Now, I said work experience not internships because IIT Madras has one unfair advantage that IIT Madras had internship season in first sum where an M-Tech student can write internship test and get an internship through campus. That culture is not present in Bombay, Delhi and students are saying it will come in the upcoming years 
but as of now shooting this point students are not allowed to do internship but students in those iits gain their experience by working under a serious professor in a good lab within the campus and some of them utilize their sem break to become best masters project so number 1 built work experience number 2 be clear some mtech students are not clear in what roles they want to prepare for their iit placement from the start of their mtech and some student join iits as a backup parallelly preparing for psus these students were not aware of what what all the things they need to do in order to make them worthy of placements as i understood from one current unplaced student first year is crucial for mtech success failing it means failing mtech so get clarity of what you want from iit mtech and be driven from start and some of them even said be driven before joining iit number 3 be bold truth is most companies which open their vacancies for mtech they also open their vacancies for btech students as well and some companies contact gds my friend from iit bombay placement cell told me that our company any gd is there btech students simply outperform mtech students and even companies with no gd a btech student with less skills but more confident in interview has higher chances of getting selected over mtech students with high skills but less confidence so be bold now we might think that if a student had done all of this will they get placed the honest answer is not necessary let me tell you why this is krishna remember the studio student we have seen earlier that video i took one year ago while he was in his first year this february I called him just to understand how he is doing. I called him once he picks up the call, we greeted each other. After that, I asked him, "Did you get placed?" He replied with, "I just got placed, bro. I'm chill now." And I was like, "You placed just now only?" Because what I was thinking was, if a serious and confident student was not able to placed in phase 1 placements, for your reference, phase 1 placements is first set of placements that happens at IITs. It happens in first 1 to 2 weeks of December, and most companies will visit IITs on phase one. Phase two, in general, will happen in the final semester. The job and placement package will be delayed. So I asked him why it got delayed for you. He told, "Lot of geotech companies which came for placements last year didn't came for placements this year. Adding on the companies which came this year also, they hired less. So vacancies are less and competition are higher. Furthermore, he told, still many of his batchmates haven't got placed yet. And I messaged my friend at IIT Bombay placement cell, and he confirmed the same. For core." it's not that good so what i understood is in general if you are cs or alac vlsi or ics in a broader lens ai or semiconductor fields your opportunities will be very good rest of the core departments as of 2025 the placements are challenging now this brings us to the question is mtech in iits is worth it or not especially if you are non cs alac students if we look at placement data especially core departments the placement percentage so far is 65% to 75% and as we have seen in delhi still few ca students yet to be placed so no one can give you assurance that you will get placed but if we look at the unplaced students vast majority of them are either having less cgpa or under confident or not strong with fundamentals neither no work experience so what we can learn from this data a while back i read a book called diary of a ceo there is a chapter in the book called don't be an ostrich did you know when an ostrich gets scared it will dig a hole and it buries its head inside so easy for hunter to have a clear shot and cook and eat the main idea of the chapter is in career business health any pursuits you want a person who is having the maximum awareness has the highest chances of winning it as steven bartlett puts it when you refuse to accept uncomfortable truth you are choosing an uncomfortable future i believe sharing your iit senior suggestions with you you can avoid ending up in the unplaced 25 to 35 percentage iit mtech students plus my friend from iit bombay placement cell also confirmed that core department students can build their profile in non core thereby they can maximize their opportunities and moreover if we look at iits or the best institutes in our nation bringing the best opportunity to for you in our nation be it placements entrepreneurship research so i think the question is not is iit mtech is worth it or not the better question is will i do whatever it takes to make the best career for me in iits now a disclaimer this is just the tip of reality of iit mtech but iits are much beyond this you name a field where you wanted to pursue research iits have the world class professors pursuing research in that field you wanted to pursue entrepreneurship iits have the best infrastructure from helping you gain knowledge validate your idea incubating your startup raising funds from investors and much more if you want a glimpse of how iit campuses looks like you can check out this video